special way which will be suitable for a science center. But normally when you see as a science center building, it is not like a, such a small unit. So first part of worry is like why this is called a science center. So this basically building is particularly designed for such a students who cannot even afford to purchase the books. If you see Masuda, the name Masuda itself, till now, I don't think nobody is knowing or anybody is somehow understandable about this village. Let me just frankly tell you, my visit when I was going to Masuda, it was a very dramatic journey. Starting from Pune or Mumbai is like a flight, then flight to Jaipur, Jaipur to Ajmer is like a bus. Ajmer to Biyavar is like a secondary unit or a secondary town. It is through, uh, say like, what do you call them? It's a Kali Pili. So it is like a small vehicle. Then I have to climb on two-wheeler. This is a field. So two-wheeler is definitely not going in. So partly cycle and rest is like, a purely knee full of the mud and then the construction started. So here my main target was like firstly to differentiate in between routine RCC and the main ferrocrete or ferro cement. When you say ferro cement, people normally say boss we want columns, slab, beams and all these things. But here all those things are mainly eliminated. And when you come up with such kind of structure, it is very difficult to get it digested. So normally it is like a fact file, how the things come up, who are the people who are supposed to be get involved in that. So the main target as I told, once you come up with land with say such kind of buildings, basically you call this as a sustainable architecture. So I was saying about few of the awards, but uh, it was this building is already nominated eight times for different awards. So it is why is the sustainable? You call it's like there is one very good say by Abraham Lincoln that it is by the people for the people and of the people. So the same word I can apply to this building because this building is basically it's a completely, I was just discussing with unskilled labor, no, they cannot be said as a labor, they are the common people with whom I was discussing on this idea. There was a stone quarry which is very near by in the vicinity of 5 kilometers from our site. So when I was visiting the site at the first time, I was just observing all the details which are available in the nearby vicinity. And our target was very simple, least possible cost, least labor cost and the earliest output. So all the elements which are used are in the same format. So these are the basic things which are well versed. You may be knowing Mr. Madhav Samad sir. He is the educationalist or we can say as a, he is an educational promoter for many rural areas and basically he was related with the PMO office since 2004. So now also he is there and there is one very good asset as a report. So this is a basic plan and when you come up with the plans, see your ultimate needs, your requirements, they must be, pre must be precise. The student capture over here is not so called who can say celebrate Valentine's Day? No, these are not the students who are expected over here. These are practically the students who are not able to even see the schools. And for them, making it much more better and affectionate was the main target. So the plan is very simple. It is accumulative of three different units with a central courtyard also and that courtyard itself it becomes like a another fourth classroom. Now here is the interesting 
part that how the sectional development as a ferrocrete it starts. So ferrocrete when you call, basically it is a self-sustainable portion. And if you see you, all of you guys are having papers in your hands, the goods. So the simple format, if you just, the one word which was used, I think origami was the word which was used. Here it is a simple system of folding the paper and putting on the two longer edges. That is the simple format which is used. And it is basically one of the most efficient forms of the standardization. The material when you call, so sustainability as I have explained you right click, go in the say like public, use the all the materials, the labor was absolutely not there. And all the people were just helping us. So right from digging, if you start the works, so that is the way you can come up. And every time you have to mark the uh, what is the curvature, because even Marking the curvature was also a difficult task for these guys. You can see now here, like the simple elevation and the simple system. See, ferrocrete, ferrocrete, ferrocrete. Okay, many times we are listening this word. But many of you, or I think almost all of you, have seen the simple pipes, RCC pipes. That is the simplest form of the ferrocrete material, and that is effectively used as a ventilation portion in this building. And why like these pipes? Here you can see, I was practically demonstrating the things. And for these structures, I was involved right from the first stage of digging up to the finishing stage. So that is how the demonstration was. Like, what are the things? How are the things? Why are we using these materials? How are they getting applied? and what is the efficient usage and the working strategy. Here you can see the pipes. Can you just imagine how the simple pipe supporting system, because in the 60 mm of the concrete, you cannot support the pipe which is say, nine, uh, say like 20, 230 mm wide. So there we have punctured it only in a plus sign mark and there are two marks which are attached to that pipe. Why the pipes? Why not something else? So the pipes are smaller one in the diameter, but it's a very simple, efficient technique or the principle of the physics. Smaller is the diameter of your ventilator, it brings the natural cool layer inside the building. So that was the principle. Now this is again, as uh, these people are telling, this is a technical system detail that how it was marked. So, hardly a 35 mm diameter, uh, sorry, 35 by 35 mm MS angle as a main supportive system. So, sectionally, how they are placed, they are equidistantly placed. And the distance in between them is your plywood or the wastage plywood distance, right? like approximately 3.5 to 1 meter, 3 feet, 3 and a half feet or 1 meter, which is very convenient for us to utilize the proper step by step and frame by frame. Because here it is not like RCC work that you should go in a single stretch with a whole slab as a single construction. So you have to go stage by stage. So the only RCC curvature slab itself it took tentatively 8 days to finish from both the ends. So that is the simplest targets and techniques. Here also if you see there is one detail which is used and was as one skylight strip. So now we are going ahead with the detailing part of the block. Can you see the lower portion that how the skylight strip is used in the dome wise. Otherwise it's a, it is not dome sorry I should say it is a void. So it is a void type structure. If you see in the lower detail there is one small unit which is like a skylight bringing inside the building and how it looks from inside is here. So see when you are controlling everything, so it is like all efficient tasks when you have to handle. 
So it is always very difficult that with minute of the painting you should be able to convey a different message altogether to the boy. It is not only thing. Actually, see now when you construct such kind of thing, it is never you cannot experiment directly on the public because public is not a like say guinea never. But when you start something of such kind, it is very humble first a demo, a small unit, and a small unit. It was like second entry for my work. So small unit was developed exactly in Kildare. So first structure which we developed, it was just only 300 rupees per square foot. You may be knowing the range of the construction today. So that is the sustainability format, controlling the cost, controlling the labor, controlling the climate. And at the same time, <coughs> developing it in such a way that it must be a smooth functional unit for say maybe a future generations, maybe future generations as well as common people. So that is the way to go ahead. Because whatever you construct, now the guns are like you are the upcoming future guns. You have got a lot of responsibility that how our nation should be having its own future. So any of the building which we start doing it, unknowingly or knowingly, it becomes your signature mark. So that is the way what we have to decide. Whether our signature should be just like one of the common or whether it should be identified and it must be flourished day by day. So that is what I would like you to come up. Thank you.